everybody welcome to fame world educational hub myself ashwarya saxena and this is 10th video in the playlist of java 90 here we are going to discuss one more program and in the previous videos i have discussed two programs of java i have also covered the concept of user defined and system defined programs i am going to create a new program file here and i am saving it with the name pro3.java in case you are lagging in the concepts of java the basics and all so you can watch the previous videos and i will suggest to watch the previous videos because i have discussed programs also in those videos today i am going to discuss one more random program and here i am going to take a program in which i will be focusing on the formatted output so here i am taking a program to print the report of a student you can take the program that write a program to print okay to calculate okay write a program to input five subject marks okay subject marks five subject marks of a student and print the average and total or total and average simply so this program we are going to right away print the total and average so basic program i have taken but i will be actually telling you the input things that how you are going to take input i will be telling you the ways that how you can give the formatted output very easily so here i am taking import java.util.scanner to take input and we are going to take input in integer here so here i am taking class pro 3 that as the name of the program and the name of the file remains the same public static void main now i am creating the object of the scanner class and uh, here i am simply taking system dot in then here i am going to take integer like m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 so five subject marks we are taking and i am also taking here the average like i i'm just taking here total and average two variables okay so this is the declaration i have just declared everything in integer it's completely up to you that what you would like to take either integer or float or double here you can see i have taken the scanner class object i have created the scanner class object because we are taking scanner class which is an external class so it is required to take its object we have to create its object okay so here i am just going to give a message for the user enter five subject marks of a student so m1 equals to ov dot next int we have not discussed about how to take input of integer in the previous videos so here i am discussing that how you can take input of integer although it's really simple to take input of integer just have to take you just have to take next int to take input of integer ob dot next int ob is simply the object which we have created of the scanner class next is in next int is a method which is stored in the scanner class and with the help of the scanner class object we are accessing it then as we have to calculate the average and total so i am just taking here the total first of all total equals to m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 plus m5 divided by okay sorry this is the total and then the average equals to total divided by 5 so the calculation we have done but we have to print it and i want to print it in a formatted way so here i am just uh, taking a formatting basic formatting i have taken here then here i am taking uh firstly i am just taking suppose maths marks plus m1 i am considering that the first one is the maths marks you can enter these things separately also enter maths marks enter english marks this way this way i am taking let's say english m2 then hindi m3 then let's say computer m4 and then let's say gk so whatever subjects you want to consider you can obviously consider 
Firstly, we are printing the five subject marks, and here we can also give some more formatting. Let's say here I am writing uh, some space I am taking, and I am writing report. So I am taking here slash t for tab. Slash t will be giving the tab space. Then report I have written, and again, although the slash t would not be considered if I am taking it afterwards. And then I am just taking the same star pattern which we have taken previously. So I'm just copying it and pasting it. So it will be same number of stars. After that, I want to print the total. So here I am firstly printing total and then average. And then I am printing average. Okay, so plus AVG is our variable which we have taken. Okay, so this way like you can make the formatting. Slash N we are not using because we have already taken print LN. So print LN if we are taking, so it will be moving towards the next line. The cursor will be automatically moving towards the next line. And here I have closed it. Okay, I have closed this with the star. So let's see how the output is going to come. Here you can see this is a complete program in one go on the same screen. And let's work on the output. So here I'm taking Java C space pro 3, that is the third program dot Java. And then Java space pro 3, that is the, like we are just compiling and running the program. So enter five subject marks. I'm just taking the five subject marks here. And here you can see, okay, the slash T which I have given, uh, it's not uh, taken because I have taken it wrong. It should be this way. Fine. So the slash I have created uh, like in the wrong direction. So I have again compiled and run the program. So I'm just entering five subject marks. Okay, I failed the student in one subject anyways. So here you can see now the slash T is working. It is giving the space accordingly. I'm again running this program and here you can see. So you can see the output is present in front of us. So this way you can just get the formatted output like whatever program you are taking accordingly and you can do the formatting. You can give the output in a very good and uh, like uh, you can say beautiful manner. Here also we can give a line. This way. And because we have made the changes, we have to recompile the program and run it. So here you can see the output is in front of us. And uh, this way you can do any program formatting simply. So I hope this program is clear. In case you are facing any problem in any particular program or you want to ask something, you have some query, you can simply put it in the comment section. You can comment your queries and uh, you can ask your questions in the comments. And I will try to try my best to help you out in a better manner. I hope you have uh, liked this video. Like the video and share it with your friends. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe Fameword Educational Hub because there is a lot of content uh, which is already present here and a good amount of content is coming for you on the regular basis. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.